So uh, tell us, you know, how, how you built this and what exactly you're doing. Like you mentioned 11 labs. So does that mean that you're cloning the voice of, for example, the business owner, and that gives like a narration track or, um, you know, maybe you can go in a, a bit deeper into exactly how you're deploying those tools and, you know, what that output kind of looks yeah. like. Um, yeah, I, I usually at this point do a, a, a real-time demo. No, you're not supposed to just do it live, but I love just doing it live. However, yeah. I'll definitely talk about it and uh, sure. folks that are watching That's can right. go to streamer.ai. Go to your website, right. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Uh, basically all you do is search or enter the business URL, uh, mm-hmm. search for your business name or enter the business URL. And then on the back end, we'll generate a script based on uh, your website, your Google business profile. There's a few more. Uh, places we're looking to pull Mm -hmm. from in the future, maybe like Mm -hmm. your Instagram, because Instagram Mm -hmm. is really like the storefront for SMBs these days. And also uh, YouTube as well. Um, So we'll do that, generate the script. And then we basically built, we call it a mood relevant matching service on top of 11 labs and on Suno. So let's say uh, you're a yoga studio. We Mm -hmm. will automatically, you know, write a script that makes sense for a yoga studio but then mm-hmm. also get a soothing voice from 11 labs so that it matches what you would expect okay. from a yogi. And then also okay. a, you know, a soothing uh, meditation style soundtrack from yeah. Suno. Suno is the AI music. And yeah. then we bring that all together, generate the commercial. Um, wow. And yeah, that's how it's done. And so are you, are you using stock, um, you you know, video and, uh, I, I guess perhaps some still images, but mostly video is is that then what the actual creative consists of? And then you're overlaying the music, the custom music from Suno, as well as the, um, the, the narration track is that, are those the the elements of. Those are definitely building blocks. We also, you can click a button, we have edit with AI. So you can upload some of your own images and frames of your business, mm-hmm. uh, I and mean, even uh, video as well. And mm-hmm. you can basically remix it yourself if you're not happy with like the out of the box yeah. ad that's generated. Yeah. And stock assets, you know, I ran the video and music businesses at Shutterstock. Um, we're definitely exploring that area. Sometimes it's not perfect when you're, mm-hmm. there's a good example, there's this great, cheeseburger joint here and uh, I'm in Santa Monica, California, a hi-ho cheeseburger, and they have very specific branding around their Wagyu beef burger. And then yeah. if you then try to use a stock burger being flipped, yeah. it just doesn't it, sell the brand. So it's yeah. almost better yeah, yeah. to have an yeah. image that yeah. is curated for that yeah. brand than yeah. a uh, you know generic uh, yeah. Burger flipping. Yeah. That's, um, it, you know, that's fascinating because of course I, you know, I'm a marketer and, um, the, the biggest problem with using stock images, stock video, anything cause sort of stock is not, um, anymore. It used to be sometimes quality was a little inconsistent now, like it, it all basically looks good. I mean, it has to, to be in the library. So, you know, it's like the image is great. Usually the, the model or, you know, whatever the subject is, you know, is, you know, looks good. Everything's good, but there's just something in the frame that's out of sync with what the message is, you know? Yep. And, and I always, um, you know, for those that work with me, work around me, um, you know, I always point out, you know, the, the problem is, is that um, there's a segment of the audience that won't even notice that, but our brains just pick up on those things. There's these super subtle cues that just don't sit, don't seem right, you know? Yeah. And so the problem is, is that, you know, because often I'll get feedback like, oh, no one, will, no one will really notice that. Or, you know, will they, you know, maybe we can sort of crop it out a little bit. And, and it's like, yeah, but you know what? The brain is, the person viewing it, it's not even going to know why they feel it's not right, but there's going to be, but they're going to feel it's not right. You know, yep. with, you know, whatever the words are on the screen or on the, you know, on the image or the soundtrack going along with it, the narration, you know, um, whatever the context is. So uh, that's one of the challenges. <laughs> 100%. 